Okay, so first of all, I have here a document which is just plain text and I want to change the headings in this document into numbered academic headings in order to create chapters, sections and subsections. So first of all, I have here heading one and heading two, but I want more options than this. So I'm going to go to styles and then manage styles and then recommend and I'm going to select heading two and I'm going to change this to show then heading three and change that to show as well and I could have up to nine different heading styles here but I'm only going to use the first three then I'm going to select OK and then close this and now I have heading one two and three here now I'm going to select this and define new multi-level list. Then I'm going to select more here so I can see all of my options. And I'm going to start setting up the format that I want. So I don't want it to look like this. I want the first level to be chapters. So I'm gonna write chapter. And then I want the chapters to be numbered one, two, three. Then I don't want to have any indents in any of my levels. So I'm gonna change these to zero and then OK. And I want the this to be followed by a space. So before the title, there'll be a space. Then I'm going to link this to heading one. So whenever I select heading one, it will show me this format. And I'm going to change the font. So I'm going to make it Times New Roman and bold and size 16. And then I want it to be black then OK. Then I'm going to select level two and I want for these to be my sections. So I want to show the number of the chapter that I'm in and then a full stop and then the number of the section. And I want this to be followed by a space again before the title. And this I'm going to link to heading two and then I'm going to select the font again and make it Times New Roman and bold and a size 10 this time and then black then OK. Then I'm going to select level three and I want this to show the chapter and then a full stop, then the section and a full stop and then the number of the subsection. I want this to be followed by a space. I'm going to link this to heading three and then I'm going to make the font the same again. So bold, size 10 and then black then OK and OK again. And now I have the chapter one part, but I need to change the text in the actual title. So I'm gonna make it Times New Roman and bold and black. And then I want there to be a space afterwards as well. Then I'm gonna make sure I'm selected somewhere in here and I'm going to go to heading one and right click and update heading one to match selection. Then any time I select heading one, it will change it to be in this format. But I obviously don't want that to be a chapter. I want this to be heading two and I need to update the format again for this. So I'm gonna make it bold and black and then add a space afterwards. And then I can do the same thing again, select in here and then right click here and update heading two to match selection. Then if I scroll down, I can change this to heading two and this to heading two. Then this will be my first subsection and will be heading three. And then I need to update this format as well. So I'm gonna make it size 10 and bold and black, black. And then I'm gonna add a space afterwards and then I'm going to right click to update heading three to match selection. Then this will also be heading three and this will also be heading three and heading three and then the results will be heading two and then this will be heading three. Now if I go to view and the navigation pane, I can see all of my sections listed. And if I click on any one of them, it will take me to that point in the document. I can also click on the little triangles here to open and close these sections. And I can also do this within the document. If I click here 
to open and close the section. Okay, and that is it.